We would do a uh, spider house. The Japanese and the translation, um, the only thing that's different is the title screen. They have uh, English text in the normal um, interludes in the game. Um, to get this to work on a EverDrive, it actually uses a unique mapper, uh, a Namco mapper. And there's somebody that ported it over to MMC3. So that's probably the ROM that they'll be supplying for you to use. It runs the same. I have, uh, I have the actual cart. The only thing I've actually noticed is just a little bit of audio changes here and there. But you don't. But I don't find it easy. Yeah, I mean, you can learn it, man. It, it's definitely a game that takes a little bit of uh, learning. Uh, the final boss is a real pain in the ass. Uh, it takes like 18, I think he takes 18 hits. There is a password system uh, if you have to continue. This is a game that I think it's a shame it never came to the States. It has uh, like an upside down cross and it has some like demons and blood and stuff like that. An exorcist and some other uh, weird stuff uh, that prevented it probably, you know, from being ported over. If you're in a spider house, I'm actually speedrunning the, or learning to speedrun the arcade game right now. Uh, I've once cc'd it twice within the last two days. You can just hit a normal button to skip that screen. Uh, you just have a jump and a knife swing, I guess. You can get a shotgun. Uh, it's a limited amount of shots. Your health meter is in the top left, which is so I can get hit four times. Uh, the meter in the top, the top uh, of the screen, the zero zero out of ten. Uh, when you get different items and power ups, you, that meter fills. When you get to the required amount, you get a new health bar. Um, that bar gets bigger and bigger by the end of the game. And if you use a password, you actually lose that progress. Most things only take one hit. swing in the air. There's a way to get through these really quick. I'm rusty on all these games, so I apologize for that. But I will be uh, brushing up, of course. I'm really excited to see uh, people run these games. There's a lot of really good games in here. He does a little dance. You can't skip this at all. Dracula. Okay, Dracula is really good up until um, the coaster stage, and then it becomes a real pain in the ass. And maybe, like, they honestly, they use so many good games that, like, that if they do Famicom exclusive ones in the future, a lot of the games are going to be, you know, already used from this. So, I th I'm really happy with the list. I think there's a lot of good games. A lot of these big 20s, um, they often have, you know, games I think are unreasonable or, you know, not fun to run, and this has a lot of fun games. I think people should be a lot less frustrated with this, uh, these 20 games than other Big 20s. Which I hope encourages people to, uh, you know, to do the Big 20 and to, uh, learn these games. And get some leaderboards on this game. This game doesn't have a leaderboard. There are a few people that have run it in the past. Uh, I know Zallard1 has done runs of it. Hamburger's Health. Mappy. Uh, you can hit these boxes to get added health. I do it uh, to, to work on that mirror in the top left. Wait for the uh, hamburger to the end of the run. You can actually hit both of these in one swipe if you time it perfectly. When it shakes, you kind of lose your placing.
See, it moves you around there. Uh, with this boss, you want to get it trapped in the corner and then just attack it. I forget when the timing is. You should be able to get it in one cycle. I just haven't, uh, forgot where the placement was. Okay. Noted. I think the spawns are always given. You want to go up and to the left. Now, I'm not sure if it's the chickens or the knives uh, that is for the set for the cycle. The chickens actually take two hits. Oops. And again, there's probably a faster way to do this. I would watch the WRs for additional tips. I really haven't watched that many videos on this game. I'm gonna be around here when you're falling. You can get hit on the head by uh, falling debris, which you'll see above me. See that piece right there? I'll just hit up to go through the door. Uh, this is the first part where people might have issue with is this boss, but it's just learning it. Uh, it's a rat boss. You have a wind that's blowing towards you. And... You can only, every swing that you do has to land with one of the rats coming out, one of these guys. Um, if you do additional ones, you'll get knocked all the way to the beginning, uh, all the way to the left side. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. You just hold right this entire time. Only takes one hit. Uh, this mouse right here, he activates. If you want to take a hit, you can just stay to the right. All these are short jumps except for that second jump, which is a big jump. Okay, so this uh, leads me to another thing that's really important. Uh, when you land on the trash cans, you can actually manipulate the spawn or the item that you get. So you either get health if you hold up. Oops, I guess shotguns hold up. Uh, you get health if you hold down and um, you have a certain amount of hits. So you hold down to get health, up to get the shotgun. You can only spawn one shotgun per scene. Uh, so until I go into like another door, I can't spawn anything else. I can't spawn another shotgun. I'm not used to having a shotgun here. Uh, so it's a little weird. I normally spawn the shotgun right before the door there. Uh, this thing has things that come directly out at you, and also things that go on the, the ceiling that will wait for like a second, and then they'll spawn directly above you, or they'll fall down. You just wait for it, and the walk left, and come back to it. I don't know the number on this, but it's a lot of, uh, of these little things. Now, it's probably just the any percent for this. This game has an any percent and it has a good ending. Um, 
but I will cover the good percent in case it is needed. Ideally, you don't get hit at all here. Just a little, I'm not really paying attention that much. I'm trying to think about stuff that's going to come up in the run. She's fine. <laughs> uh, there, they do put trash cans right in front of where you need them. So get your health back up by holding down on all these. And ideally, not getting hit through all of this. <laughs> Damn, any crickets. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is they put a trash can right above the door. That way uh, you can get the shotgun right there. Because the, 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 having the shotgun really helps with this boss. So hold up on this. Get the shotgun. Yeah, candy gives the health. Ideally, you try to get two or three. So shoot the shotgun at the very last moment that you can. That way you have more uh, blasts for the boss. You won't have it for the actual boss, but you'll have it for um, these things that swoop down. You can only hit them when they come actually down for the swoop. I usually wait for two or three to spawn, because it will take out the whole row of them. See an opportunity where they both swoop down, take it. So we'll get this boss, we'll try to get this boss stuck in the corner. Oh man. I actually like to redo this so you guys see the strat. But it's like that, basically. I won't do it for the time of the uh, of people watching it to learn it. You gotta get your health back up. Ah! It might be the last trash kit. Okay, no. Get a shotgun before you go into any uh, part of the level. You need it for this boss. It makes it really quick. So the normal way to exit the stage after this boss is done is walking right. But if we go into this left transponder, uh, we'll actually go to one of the secret levels. Of the two secret levels. There we go. Uh, there's an epilepsy warning here. So close your eyes if you're... If you're Sensitive to that, they just hit up here. Uh, the the percent I think I think they're just doing normal any percent, so you probably won't be doing this part. But like I've said, I'm including it just in case. You can also get to this level uh, on the very last stage. There's a secret uh, area within the the next secret level that you can get back to this level. You can, uh, so at the end of this, we get a, uh, like a little crystal ball. You can actually beat this game with continuing. Uh, there's a health up here if you need it. I usually don't need it, but I just wanted to show it off in case it was needed. These things can be tricky, uh, these boss, these enemies right here. You have to do like a, uh, so you walk up to them to the right, you then walk left immediately, and then walk back right to strike them. Otherwise, they will hit you. Okay. Like that. So, there's like a little presentation. Uh, you can hit a button here to fart if you want to. Uh, if you do it more than two times, I think she says you're rude. You can't skip past this part. Again, I don't think this will be part of the run.
I should have done the farting one. Yep. And this stage is pretty easy. Well, I'll save that and I'll die now. Uh, I'm not sure if it's faster to get the shotgun here or not. Because you get blown back by the shotgun. Yeah, I'm gonna highlight all these independently. You can get through that without getting hit. I usually just take the hit. Because you get a health right here. See, the shotgun, you have to kind of wait here. You have to wait because you... Uh, if you're in mid-jump and you shoot the shotgun... You shoot the shotgun, you get blown back, and you won't make the jump. So it might actually be quicker, like I said, not to have the shotgun. Uh, for this section, it's just a bunch of sharks that are uh, swimming by. You can see them the spawn pattern come from the background, and it's always the same. There's one way you have to do, like, a neutral jump. Or a jump and then hit left and right. This one right here. Alright, so this guy, uh, he attacks, which you can't hit in the first attack. You just kind of centralize yourself around the, the weapon right here. And then you can jump and you can hit him as soon as you can touch him. I, I try to always center myself here. And then jump to wherever he is. So from here you can jump left or jump right and reach him usually. Or walk a little bit and then jump. There we go. these down. You want to wait for these until somebody learns a better spawn, otherwise you'll get hit. Hit. I paused there earlier. That's why I got hit. I forgot the pattern for that section right there. You think you want to chop down... Can we not get up here? So you think you want to chop down the second one, but you actually don't want to. Because otherwise you get hit there. There's usually a health there. Or well, there always is a health there, I guess. You just run through this room. This boss can be a pain in the butt, but just uh, kind of play like ping pong with his... Uh, the things that he throws out, and then just try to, like, estimate where they're going to be. You can get right in on them. Like, right away. So the last stage. Shotgun. You don't have to use it here. 
But you get another shotgun up here at the top. I forgot to jump there. This part right here might be better without a shotgun because, again, you get blown back by the shotgun blast. And this uh, bridge, you can actually fall through. So if you hit the same uh, part multiple times, you could fall through and uh, go into a spot that has opened up. It's a little bit easier to um, do this section without the actual uh, shotgun. What's up, SS Trippy? How you doing? But I'll show it with the shotgun because it's probably the faster route. See, so you can fall down right there. See how many holes there are in this part, too? Ah, okay, well. That's, uh, it's good that I showed that off. So, what I think I used to do is I would just try to use all the blast right away. It didn't become an issue. There we go. Because it can be an issue right here. Because you can get pushed back there. Ah! All the health. And that wasn't the last stage, this is the last stage. Stage 7. Uh, there's certain sections in this stage where if you go down the pit, you'll start back at this section. Okay, uh, for right here, for the any percent that we're doing, I think um, you want to just hold, you want to get captured by the guy. For the uh, the good ending, you want to fall down and not hit right at all and go into like a secret door. So, normally you would hold right there and you'd get uh, captured by that guy and then he'd put you in this vice over here and you'd go to a room that's in the, like the basement. Uh, but since we did that this way, you, uh, you get to the other secret level. I always walk through and get the shotgun because it's uh, the quickest way for, easiest way for me. Because then you're able to take these guys out really easily. I think right here to the left of the door is the entrance to the previous secret stage, or it's in the next blue door, to the left of the next blue door. Uh, I haven't done it in so long because I always. Uh, normally remember to get the first stage secret item. I think it's right there actually. As a backup if you need it. Uh, up here there's a, a hole you can fall in easily. So just remember to jump if you get knocked left. This is the second crystal for the good ending. She does like a little like sexy dance for you. you guys are doing well. Appreciate you guys watching. Mappy needs to be on an exclusive one. Dude, people, there's some people that hate Mappy out there. I won't say their names, but Mappy Kids is uh, it's a cool game too. I think there's a Mappy Land as well. So you can't do anything to speed past this, but... These crystal balls will give you uh, two additional screens at the end of the game. So you don't want to fall down here. I probably will because I'm making a tutorial. You want to stop right. You want to stop right uh, at that ledge, or time it so that you don't have to stop. Okay. So that's fine. I'm showing off how annoying this can be. So you can, you can actually just take a pause there.
Uh, that door to the left is a bathroom. <laughs> it's added to the level. It doesn't add anything, and you don't get any health from it. It just kind of wastes time. So check it out when you're doing a casual, but don't do it in the speed run. This can be a pain if you don't do it correctly. As you see, they can pick you up, and they can try to drop you down. Hold a direction closest to the platform, usually it's right. That can take away a lot of health. Uh, there is a health refill, a secret health refill that I'll be using. You just hit up on the vending machine. You can do it multiple times. Um, you just need to respawn it. If you are really low in health, but it does eat time. Alright, so here's the final boss. Uh, it takes 18 hits, and it's really just way too long, but I try to stand in the middle of the boss and then jump towards him to hit him, and then just do like, do like the, again, do the ping pong of where he's going to land in your head. I usually try to uh, re-center myself, and uh, then jump from there. If you uh, find any of these tutorials that I do uh, helpful, uh, it helps out if you give me a follow on Twitch and on YouTube as well. Same name, I Anonymous. I could have done a jump there to get to it. Oh, and this screen's a bitrate killer. I always like try to count to 18, but I always like lose my count because it's so many hits. I would have like preferred a boss rush even to this. This boss did cause me a lot of heartache uh, learning this game though. So. If, uh, I think the safe strat, if you have low health, is to just sacrifice the time that it takes to get a health refill. Let me get some water, guys. I'll be right back. Um, I will play through, let me see if I have enough time, to play through uh, Yumi Penguin, but honestly I'm not going to be uh, the person to do the correct tutorial on that. Indy or uh, Cartina Cow would be better to watch. They'll probably do it since uh, they both uh, run the game really well. So we'll see the, uh, since we got the two uh, globes and crystal balls, we'll see the extra two screens. So this basically just says that, like, you know, they're happy. <laughs> I forget what the exact English is. And then this next one, 
is leaning into the arcade game Splatterhouse. So it shows, shows them running for shelter, because like a storm's coming. And then that goes into uh, Splatterhouse Arcade. Which I am uh, learning to speedrun right now. Or at least one CC. Zaller ones uh, have been helping me a lot. It was the mask all along. I forgot what the mask's name is. Demon mask or something? Alright. So, let me look at the list again. I think 